first element we're going to take a look at is a simple button element. This is st.button. And from these, you're able to do conditionals. So I assign the button to be tn1. And then if true, so if I click it, right clicked button. So if you come over here and click the button, the text is shown. Much like a button link is st link button. It looks a lot like a button, but it will send you to a different site. This one is just the Streamlit site. The ST download button is perfect for allowing users to download files directly from your app. You specify the file content and the file name. In this example, we're downloading just a simple text file named hello.txt. Check boxes are a lot like buttons in the way that you're able to assign them to a, a variable and then use a conditional to see if they're checked and unchecked. Number five, we have radial buttons. These are perfect for when a user wants to select an option from a list. On this one, we're just gonna do a simple list of colors and then if radial, we'll have it select. So when you select green, blue, the text will change. Number six is a select box. A select box is a lot like a radial button, but it's a drop down. That's basically the only difference. So, as you can see, we can select from the drop. Now, a multiple select is a drop down, but it allows you to select multiple elements. So, as you can see, we have red selected. We can cancel it, select blue, select green, cancel them. The select slider widget lets you select from a range of options, but with discrete steps. This can be handy when you want the user to pick from predefined values. Next, we have text inputs. Like the sound, a text input is where a user can input some text and then enter to apply. So say, oh, now, a lot like a text input, a text area is just a multi-line text input. And this is useful for longer form text. For instance, like writing a paragraph or a post response. The number input widget is used for inputting numerical data. It has max values, min values, and step size to help constrain the numbers that can be put in. The date input is a date selector input. This is a super useful one, but it allows you to have a pop-up date selector. Similar to the date selector, the time input selector allows the user to have a dropdown for selecting a specific time. The file uploader is extremely useful for when you do image recognition, things like that. But basically, it, gives you a file uploader where you also can specify the types that it will accept. Number 15 is a color picker. This is just a simple color picker. If you have an app that has the need for that, I've never actually used it. Finally, we have input camera. This is extremely useful when doing image recognition or face recognition using your computer's camera. Thank you for joining me today in this Streamlit input element tutorial. Up next, we have media. Thank you and have a great day.